Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. VOCs are one of those things that we hear about all the time in the print industry. We might ignore them, we might fear them, but do we understand them? In this video, we'll dip our toe into the science of VOCs and what they mean for your print business. Stay tuned. VOCs stand for Volatile Organic Compounds. VOCs are chemicals that are commonly found in printing inks and other printing materials. These compounds are responsible for the strong, often unpleasant smells that are associated with printing. One of the main reasons that VOCs are used in printing inks is that they help the inks to dry quickly. This is important because it allows printers to produce output at high speeds. VOCs also help to improve the adhesion of the inks to the substrate, which can improve the overall quality of the printed result. In addition to their ability to help inks dry quickly and improve their adhesion to the printing medium, VOCs are also used in inks to control their viscosity. The viscosity of printing inks can affect their flow through the printer's delivery system and print heads, which affects print quality, reliability, and uptime. So VOCs have benefits, which is why manufacturers use them in their inks. Organic compounds are found everywhere on Earth. What makes VOCs volatile is their low molecular weight and a high vapor pressure, meaning that they will evaporate more easily at room temperature. These volatile organic compounds diffuse into the air as a gas, leading to those strong, unpleasant smells that are familiar in the print industry. In addition to their strong, unpleasant smells, VOCs can also have negative health effects if inhaled in large quantities. Exposure to high levels of VOCs can cause irritation to the eyes, nose, and throat, and can also lead to more serious health, health problems. So how can you make sure you aren't exposing yourself and your employees to unhealthy amounts of VOCs? Well, first, OSHA requires ink manufacturers to supply material safety data sheets, or MSDS sheets, which show the contents of the inks and warnings about their use. This is the first place to look to make sure that you're using inks in a way that doesn't cause harm. You can also monitor the levels of VOCs in the air with specialized equipment such as air quality monitors or VOC detectors. These devices are designed to measure the concentration of VOCs in the air and provide an indication of whether the levels of these chemicals are within safe limits. You can find these devices on Amazon for a few hundred dollars. If the levels of VOCs, volatile organic compounds, in the air are high, there are a few steps you can take to reduce your exposure to these chemicals and protect your health. First, you can implement proper ventilation. By ensuring that your workplace has adequate ventilation, you can help to reduce the concentration of VOCs in the air and improve air quality. If you're interested in putting in a ventilation system in your print room, you should talk to a professional ventilation contractor. These contractors are specialists who are trained and experienced in designing, installing, and maintaining ventilation systems for commercial and industrial environments. Second, if you're working in an environment where VOCs are at levels that you aren't comfortable with, you can wear a respirator. Respirators are designed to filter the air that you breathe, removing VOCs and other harmful substances from the air before you inhale them. There are several different types of respirators available, including disposable, reusable, and powered air purifying respirators. And finally, a significant action you can take is to switch to low VOC or VOC free inks. Some manufacturers now offer low VOC or VOC free inks and other printing materials that are designed to reduce the amount of VOCs released into the air during printing. Examples of these printers are HP's latex printers and Epson resin printers. I hope this video has provided a helpful overview of what VOCs are and how they work. They aren't the boogeyman and they also shouldn't be ignored. With proper care and attention, you can take steps to ensure that your work environment is safe for you and your team. If you have more questions, you can reach out to our team at itsupplies.com and we'll be glad to help you look at your options. Thanks and have a great day.